you know, the, how one controls the mind. Swami Turiyananda, let's take two stories from the life of Swami Turiyananda. In Belur Mat, the main monastery, in the summer when it's very hot, there is a tradition of making a cool drink out of yogurt. And it's sweet and it's cool and it's offered to the Lord in the main temple. And then the monks by turn, each day one monk, gets it as offered food, as prasad. And it's very nice. I have got it also, so I know, I know it's very nice. It's an old tradition. It's especially nice when it is 105 in the shade. And you, so this person will come up to you and say, it's your turn today, Swami, you can have this. And it's really nice. Now I read many, many years ago when this tradition was still there, it, 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 it had started by that time. Swami Turiyanandaji, one of the direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, he was visiting Belurmat. And the young novice came up with that glass of, refreshing glass of cold yogurt, sweet yogurt to the Swami and said, this was offered to Sri Ramakrishna today, Swami, so it is prasad, offered, offered food, uh, sacramental food. And uh, it's your turn, so today you, you take it. The Swami took one sip and he gave it back. He said, no. And the novice thought maybe something is wrong. He said, Swami, don't you like it? And the Swami said, I like it, that's why. <laughs> Immediately the mind said, it's nice. And the Swami said, stop, that's it, give it back. Uh, that's a pretty steep curve to follow. <laughs> External activity. There's a, um, another incident in Kashi, in Benares, when Swami, this very same Swami Turiyananda was there. Um, one young Swami, in the evening he had gone out for some work. And that was the meditation time. And when this was reported to Swami Turiyananda, he scolded the Swami so hard, that, that young Swami, that the Swami ran away from the ashram. What he said was, in Bengali, he said, In the evening, when the sun has set, after that, why should a sadhu, a monk, leave his meditation seat? It should be in meditation. And he said, Swami, how long? Until the sun rises, of course. And it's, it's not exaggeration. Swami Turiyananda himself used to do that. There are reminiscences of him in, in Rishikesh when he was doing tapasya. Throughout the day, he would study and think about Vedanta. He would go for one hour to beg for food. He says, a monk, for one hour in a day, he is a fakir, a beggar. And for 23 hours, he is an emperor. Because only one hour he has to go out and ask for something from the world, that is food. And for the rest of the 23 hours, the person is completely free. So he is an emperor. Now, as evening would fall, of course, no light, no electricity or anything like that. He would go back to his little hut, which was made of leaves and branches. And then he would sit for meditation there. He, would, he, had, he, he could not sleep. He said a week went by without sleeping. He had no need of sleep. The yogis say that those who are samadhi one, those who attain samadhi, they don't need sleep. 